and I think of Sony and Microsoft are angling to get into crypto gaming, will they be able to succeed where others in the industry have failed? Uh, Sony and Microsoft, two of the biggest names in gaming, uh, have been making significant moves uh, towards blockchain technology in recent years. Uh, this is an important development as it has uh, the potential to not only uh, revolutionize uh, the gaming industry, but it could be the Trojan horse uh, that makes uh, blockchain uh, uh, a mainstream possibility. Uh, uh, Sony's filed a patent for a system allowing players to transfer digital assets between PlayStation titles using blockchain technology. Uh, this will enable unified progress and asset ownership across different games uh, rather than having assets locked to individual games. Sony has also explored tokenizing in-game assets, allowing players to sell and trade them on secondary markets. Leaked documents show that Microsoft is planning to add crypto wallets to Xbox. This would allow players to trade assets across different platforms securely. Microsoft's goals and annual reports that also align with this as they are pursuing the acquisition of Activision Blizzard and acquiring Savage Game Studios for mobile. This suggests that Microsoft is serious about expanding its gaming presence, and that blockchain could play a role. Uh, the blockchain gaming is a significant opportunity, so it's no surprise it is gaining attention from two gaming leaders. Estimates suggest that the market's value in 2025 could be up to 10% greater than in 2022. Um, how the main drivers of the growth of the blockchain gaming market include the increasing popularity of play-to-earn games, the growing demand for more immersive and engaging gaming experiences, and the increasing adoption of blockchain technology by game developers and publishers. And, but why blockchain in the first place? The traditional gaming industry primarily generates revenue through game sales, in-game purchases, and subscriptions often limiting player ownership of in-game assets and focusing monetization strategies on microtransactions and downloadable content. Uh, while tokenization has been in games since the advent of the in-app purchase, the unique properties of blockchain offer true ownership of in-game assets, new revenue streams for players and creators, and more transparent and secure game economies, including the possibility for players to earn real-world value community governance where players can influence game development decisions and dividend-like payouts or staking rewards distributed to token holders. Ownership of characters, items, and currency also means that you can trade or sell those assets on secondary markets or use them in other blockchain games. Uh, this wouldn't be the first time Sony has brought previously uh, Mish cutting edge uh, technology to the masses. Um, in the early 2000s, Sony was one of the leading proponents of the Blu-ray disc format. Um, Blu-ray eventually won the format war over HD DVD and is now the best standard for high-definition optical discs. By partnering with other major companies, Sony created a critical mass of support for Blu-ray, which helped it become the dominant format. Uh, but including a Blu-ray player in the PlayStation 3 followed by the PS4 and the PS5, uh, put a cost-effective, high-definition movie cinema in over 239 million homes worldwide. And the year before the launch of the PS3, the average cost of a Blu-ray player was more than a thousand bucks, and it didn't play games, unlike the $500 console. Uh, today's a good day to play. Uh, we officially welcome Activision Blizzard King to Team Xbox. Together, we'll create stories and experiences that bring players together in a culture empowering everyone to do their best work and celebrate diverse perspectives. But the Japanese gaming giant has also dropped the ball several times. The Sony Aibo was arguably the best home robot ever created. And it seemed apparent to many decidedly that a PlayStation connection, which could play games with that capable metal dog and reprogram it, would have created the economy of scale needed to make it a must-have purchase. And many have commented on how PlayStation Home could be leagues ahead of anything. Meta and others are creating uh, to try and bring the metaverse to the home. And in those of these office, yet it strangely disappeared 
Uh, of course, Sony and Microsoft aren't first to market in the blockchain gaming niche. There are several existing blockchain gaming hardware products on the market, including the Oculus Quest 2 and HTC Vive Pro 2 VR headsets that have blockchain games available for play today, and various high-end gaming laptops are available, such as the Alienware X17 R2V and Asus ROG Zephyrus G15. Uh, all of those devices, however, feel like those early Blu-ray players in terms of cost and inaccessibility to all. Uh, however, there are some options on the other end of the press scale. Uh, Wildcube is a 3D puzzle game console that allows players to interact with the digital world by twisting, shaking, and tilting the device, reminiscent of a Rubik's Cube, and the company behind it has announced that they are working with developers to create blockchain games that can be played on the device. In 2021, Atari released a new version of its iconic VCS design for blockchain gaming. It is a built-in wallet in support for multiple blockchains and comes preloaded with many blockchain games, including Atari Pong, Atari Breakout, and Atari Asteroids. It is also possible to sideload additional blockchain games onto the VCS. And the Emberdeck RG552 is a handheld retro gaming console also released in 2021. Well, it targets those who want to play retro games, including games from the Atari 2600, Nintendo Entertainment System, and Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It can also be used to play blockchain games via the open source RetroArch emulator. And Sony and Microsoft's move towards blockchain is a significant development for the gaming industry. Blockchain has the potential to revolutionize the way that games are designed played and monetized. The challenges ahead, of course, Web3 games are excluded from significant gaming platforms and marketplaces to prohibit applications that issue or allow the exchange of cryptocurrencies or non-fungible tokens, NFTs. However, those hurdles could be lowered or eradicated with the might of two major gaming powerhouses pushing the agenda. Significant players like Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo dominate the gaming console market. However, these platforms have yet to offer decentralized game development or digital asset ownership. First up, there are a primary hand. Various blockchain-based games exist. Still, no unified hardware platform optimizes the gaming experience for blockchain-native games, and all games are limited to... If Sony and Microsoft change the landscape, or if any existing up-and-coming solutions become wildly popular, gaming, not financial services, real estate, voting, or NFTs, could successfully bring blockchain to the masses, and even significantly impact the global uh, 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 technology landscape and cultural landscape, uh, maybe, as with Blu-ray, gaming is the way to put it in the hands of the general public and not just the technologically gifted um, 